we're looking at a very attractive and appealing group of late 19th century and early 20th century uh, illustrated travel books that all uh, have these very nice uh, full-page uh, photogravure plates with tissue guards. As you can see, the bindings are clean with uh, beautiful gilt decorations. Um, they're all complete. This one is got some foxing on a few of the plates, which is not offensive, but it's often seen on 19th and early 20th century books and older. It's uh, oh yes, many monuments and city views and street scenes and canals and boats. And this one on Holland. Here is Spain. This is really splendid. Uh, same throughout. For instance, here we've got uh, two matadors and, oh uh, yes, bullfighting. And then we've got here a second volume, which actually at the back has a, a fold out color lithographed map of the country and it's uh, made in such a way that the book can be laid down flat with that map open while you're looking through the book to trace where in the country the images are and where the narrative is yes the, these types of uh, this type of printing for these plates is very very uh, well done. It's the detail and the soft quality, visual quality to the images is really noteworthy. Here's a beautiful set on Scotland. Look at these bindings. Top edge is gilt. Again, just a profusion, profusion really, of plates. Big fold out table there. Um, and here's the second volume. Again, large folding color map at the rear. Uh, it looks like that has a little split in it, but that's of no consequence. Uh, there's a great one with some little signage. Uh, then we have, now. oh, there's an errata uh, slip in it. That's 1902 on that one. We've got this beautiful set right here on England. Really just wonderful. And here. Oh, an interior of the winter drawing room at Hatfield House. Okay. Oh, there we are. Windsor Castle. And so on. Just literally every few pages is a plate. There's also, for these books, typically a list of all the plates in each volume to be found. As you can see, they look close to new condition beautifully preserved. They've obviously sat in a bookcase somewhere untouched for a hundred years or more. Here we have a large folding color lithograph map of England and Wales, like so, which unfolds further. But And now, finally, we've got this last set, which is just beautiful, with the gilt bindings. Very heavy books as well. They're physically heavy. It's due to the uh, paper that they've used um, and this one looked like one of the plates had some edge chipping to it, which minor faults in books like this are often to be found. Uh, doesn't detract from the overall appeal of the set or the lot. We're offering all of these right now uh, as one lot on my website, briandemambro.com. And we're going to move on to show you more of the items on this table now. So, see you soon.